using the view map we are going to actually also compile the elevations because we did them already so if i select this elevation marker and i say open view with current settings this is what we are pre presented with. You can see that these elevations have been using this uh, layer combination, which is floor plan. But actually, we want to change that. We want to change that to drafting such that we get the mesh back. OK, so I think this is a better representation of the elevation, but this may be too much. So let's use a small few just to cover up some of this stuff because we do not want to see it i think this is way better so i'm going to right click display order send it backward because i want to see those um, elements so let's remove the line such that it's seamless uh, by clicking on this line here and now we have ourselves a much better representation of an elevation with just one click and now we have ourselves a front view which has this dark pen and a light pen in the background so if you haven't watched that uh, way in order to create elevations i'll leave a link to that video please go ahead and watch it okay so now we have ourselves the front elevation and we will save it right click on the tab and say save view and in here we want to make sure that it is front elevation and it's e1 we say create and remember the reason why we are saving this flow plan is that it's such that we make it easier for us to actually take this and place it on the layout so we save this view and now let's compile it in under elevations and that's what we are going to do for the next elevation so let's just do one more and you can go ahead and do for yourselves the rest of the views so let's uh, pick one on the side so i'm going to pick the side elevation left which is uh, elevation three okay so we will open that with current view settings and now there we are we have uh, the defaults and this is how they look like and then we also want to change this to drafting like we said before says so that we bring back our mesh to hide some of those elements but to also refine it further we might want to bring in a few which is going to help us cover, remove this solid line such that it's a seamless thing that's going to cover things below here and let's display order bring send backward such that we are able to see our grid lines okay so we can go in here and hide the stuff that we want to hide and i do think that this is a bit too close display order can we send this backward yeah that's better and if you so wish we could also add some layer in here oh Okay, let's we were subtracting instead of adding so let's bring this up a little and then we can edit some of these elements pretty cool and i think that's a better representation of this elevation so all we have done is that we originally have that and we're just adding a layer a small view which has a uh background window background in the in the in the color we have hidden and created something uh i think is interesting i think the rest is really fine all right so that's it for now let's uh, save this view and you can go ahead and do the same for other views so right click save view and you can see this is e3 and it's called side elevation left and i'll go ahead and drag this and drop it in here and uh, that's it for this video go ahead and finish up the rest of the views and i'll see you in the next one